little Kulesi is now, after almost eight months, he is now for the first time walking and running on his own foot. He had a very, very big battle. And then little Nandi, she had 21 axe and banger wounds on her head and face. Uh, the one between her top of the head, when we cleaned the wound, we could see the brain. It is as terrible. What people do to animals is, is, is unbelievable. You know, the rhino orphanage was found by accident. One of our next door neighbors phoned me early one morning and said there's shots being fired on his farm and he doesn't know what's going on. Can we please come and help with the helicopter? Uh, so I found the pilot and uh, we eventually found all the other rhinos. And then got back to the office. I started phoning everyone and eventually got through to a uh, organization and the lady there told me that they've been having meetings past 18 months on where to build a rhino orphanage and who's going to pay for it. And, uh, I've got a very big mouth, so on the phone I said to her, don't worry, I'll build one. And I put the phone down and I actually, what the hell did you do now? And that's how we started. First thing we do is we blindfold. We take its senses away. Blindfold it and put earplugs. And then the whole process starts. Every rhino is different. We've had a baby that started drinking four minutes after arrival. We had babies that took five days to start drinking. And then while they're drinking, we take the blindfold off slowly and they get the fright of their lives because their mum now looks totally different. They have to bond with the carers that work at the rhino office. And if it's small, if it's very small, the carers will sleep with that baby. They work them 24 hours a day for months and months and months. And we only start releasing rhinos when they are four and a half to five years old. Once they form bonds in their little groups, we release that whole group together. We don't split them up. They have a lot of fun. You know, when you release the ride, it's that bittersweet feeling. Everybody's in tears, but it's tears of joy.